We're back out here live at Monroe High School. And you know, when you've got a school that has 2,400 kids, grades 2 through 12 in the same building, mm -hmm. uh, there's a tight-knit community there. As evidenced by here, uh, they really celebrate everything that their students have done. This is their hometown heroes board with former students who are currently or formerly serving in the military uh, and defending our country. And when you talk about hometown heroes, I think of a couple of other heroes that this school and this community have had, and really the heroes of the community itself. When we received the assignment that we were coming to Monroe High School, I knew that we had to take a moment to recognize a couple of students that are in the school district and the community and how they've rallied around them. Madison and Dominic, so it's, it's Madison Hammond, who's an elementary school teacher here, and Dominic Watkins, who is at the high school here. They both have been diagnosed with a rare form of pediatric cancer. It's the same type of cancer, and they've really been battling through that for the last couple of years. But the community here in Monroe has really rallied behind them. Here's a couple of pictures, and in the middle is the ribbon that you have seen on police cars mm -hmm. in people's front yards. There have been signs, t-shirts. They've had fundraisers, everything from golf outings to just barbecues, even a Christmas holiday lighting display to help fundraise for the families. And I think it's real testament to their character and their battle against cancer, but it's also testament to how the community and the school system has rallied around these students of these individuals as well. And, and you mentioned it. This is uh, Cincinnati in general, the tri-state. We're, we're a high school right. town. We're a high school area. So you're rallying around the high school, but it's not just this building. It's the entire community, the entire area around it really behind this school and behind the students specifically. Yeah, so Madison and Dominic, we're thinking of you. We're thinking of your health. Hopefully you get well soon. I believe Dominic is back in school. Madison's still going through some chemo Maybe we'll see well. him when school starts in yeah, a couple of hours. Yeah, so it's great. I think it's just a testament to the community. So coming up, we're talking about school spirit. We're talking about back to school. So many communities are really celebrating this time of year, Catherine. And we will help you get ready for school live here as Good Morning Tri-State takes the show on the road for back to school. Tamika? All right, guys, thank you so much. They're bringing back so many memories walking around. Isn't that, isn't that a great point, though? And, yeah. and it's not just Monroe, but so many of the high schools around here mm -hmm. are, are so good at that, being more than just about Absolutely. the books and going to school. When you talk about what they do in the community and how important the schools are Absolutely. in the community, it, yeah. it's, just, it's one of the things that makes living in this town so great. That's right. It the way really they've is. reached out to Madison and Dominic, that's yeah. a wonderful thing. Yes. So. Absolutely. Well, and something else you see in this town that I feel like is so unique to the Tri-State is Friday Night Football. Yes. Love it. Love yes. it, love it, love it. Yes. I love it this time of year. It is a way of life in Absolutely. Cincinnati. Absolutely. And we've got your Friday Night Football forecast. Got you covered.